Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the longest common subsequence problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 1143. So in this given problem, we are having two strings, text1 and text2, and we have to return the length of the longest common subsequence. Uh, so and if there is no common subsequence, we can simply return 0 because in that case the length of common sub LCS will be 0. So let's see what a subsequence is. So a subsequence is a new string generated from the original string by removing some of the characters. Uh, you can remove uh, none also. And uh, but the relative order of the characters must not change. Like for example, we have an uh, A B C D E. This string we have. So if you remove the D, uh, B and the D from here then the string becomes ACE. Now you see the relative order of ACE is not changed but the sum of the elements or the characters have been removed. So ACE is a valid subsequence of ABCD. So similarly we have to find the common subsequence of the two string and return the length of the longest common subsequence. So for this we are going to use a dynamic programming approach. Here we are going to create a 2D DP uh, and uh, 2D DP will be size of uh, length plus 1 into length length of 1 plus 1 and length 2 plus 1 so suppose we have this example where length 1 equal to 5 and length 2 equal to 3 so the dp size will be length 1 plus 1 and length 2 plus 1 so that is 6 into 4 because 5 and 3 were there so 6 uh, 5 plus 1 and 3 plus 1 that is 6 into 4 so this will be size of dp and uh, you can see now each of the column is associated with uh, characters of one of the string and each of the rows is associated with the characters of the other string and the first row and the first column are left empty because of uh, uh, we are going to uh, do an operation uh, i minus 1 so for that we need an extra uh, column otherwise we can use an if and check uh, if it is less than 0 so then we can but that will be a bit complex so you can simply take a size plus 1 and do this optimization so how we have to go now suppose uh, initially we will having this table as 0 everything will be filled as 0 so suppose we have uh, we'll check uh, we are if we are in a particular cell so we'll check the row and we'll check the column so if the row and the column uh, elements associated are same then what we do then we go to i minus 1 and j minus 1 and we d we add plus 1 and write here so i minus so here you see a and a for this cell so it is same so go to i minus 1 and j minus 1 that is 0 and add 1 so we can do a 1 so and now uh, if you see for this cell so the row character is a and the column character is c so here the characters are same uh, characters are different so what we'll do we'll go to i minus 1 and we'll go to j minus 1 and whichever is maximum we'll update with that so similarly suppose we try to fill this so we started from here then we go to here uh, it is different so we take the maximum of uh, the top and the left we go the, we then go to the this cell top is 0 uh, left is 1 and the elements are not same so we will take from left now we go to here b p and m are this b and a are the same no so take from top because top is maximum now c b and c uh, are the same no so you can take from top or left whichever is maximum now b and e are the same no take from top of left whichever is maximum now we will see something interesting here c and a <coughs> not uh, same so simply take from top now when you see here c and c are equal then what we have to do we go to i minus 1 and j minus 1 and we add 1 so it goes here 1 and we add 1 this becomes 2 and a similar operation you will perform on everything and when you will get e when you get when you get e so you will do a 2 plus 1 that is 3 because both of them are same you go to i minus 1 j minus 1 and the table becomes 3 and at the end you have to return this the last column of the table 
so this is how we are going to do this uh, fill the dp table and uh, finally return the answer from the dp table so i hope you got to know how we are going to fill the db table now let's see the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so let's first define the lengths of the strings length 2 equal to text two dot length uh, it is a string so it will be now let's create the dp and as i told you it will be length one plus one and length two plus one now we are going to iterate from within the dp table and As I told you, the first row and the first column will be left for the minus one operations. So we are starting from one here. That's why. So now, what was the condition? If text one dot char at so the character associated with so this will be i minus one is equal equal to the character associated with the column this will be text 2 so in this case we were going to do dp of ij equal to dp of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 this is simple otherwise what we were doing dp of i and j equal to mat dot max dp of i minus 1 j and dp of i and j minus 1 And finally, we can return the dp of length 1 and length 2. I guess this should run fine. So, okay, sample test cases are passed. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So, yeah, it passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So, the time complexity for this solution is O of length 1 into length 2 and the space complexity is also O of length 1 into length 2 because of this dp array and this time complexity comes from these loops so i hope you understood the logic you can also check the c++ python javascript solution by going into the solution panel and then you can see this solution this this one here you can see the intuition approach the complexity analysis code explanation the java code c++ python javascript along with comments for easy understanding and yes do remember me to upvote so i hope you do like uh, i hope you like the video do share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and like the video if you haven't so thank you for watching the video have a nice day